Hey guys, it's Daniel with Boss C351 Productions. Today we have a special guest, a fellow YouTuber and my brother, Brayden, and his 2015 Ford F-150 EcoBoost. And he is having a problem with his EcoBoost, and I'm going to let you tell you about it. Okay, the next thing you're going to have to do... Hey, this is Red Eco Beast from uh, YouTube. Uh, my truck's been highly modified. Well, I say highly, but to a point. Uh, problem I've been having that I've been kind of trying to figure out what's causing it is uh, have a slight stumble. I've had a loss of fuel mileage up to anywhere two to two and a half miles per gallon. Um, you know, I thought it was everything from the cool unplug to possible problems with my transmission, things like that. Well, doing a little bit of research, I ended up finding out it's the uh, VVT solenoids, the variable valve timing control solenoids. You have one for each cam in each bank. You have intake and exhaust controls. And uh, what I've come to find out is even though my solenoids are still working, they've become weak with age at almost 100,000 miles. And so what's happening is it's not holding timing or it's not variating the timing enough upon acceleration. Um, I've taken them out and cleaned them. It improved it. However, I've opted to go ahead and change those solenoids out to correct the issue. So guys, we're going to get this started. All right, first off, to get access to your VVT solenoids, you've got to remove your engine cover. Uh, the, on the 2.7 liter EcoBoost, it's two 10 millimeter nuts. Uh, on mine, I keep them loose. I'll hand tighten them. I don't use a ratchet because it has a tendency to want to pull the studs out when you over tighten it. So what we're going to do is start by taking these nuts off here, just like so. Don't lose these nuts. you got to be careful because you can drop them right down in the engine compartment and get in bad, bad shape. All you do is lift it and pull it down, just like so. Once you've got your cover off the top of the engine, you will see your exhaust VVT and your intake VVT. Each one of them has a special locking clip that you want to push down and then you will squeeze and slide to release. They can be a bugger, so be careful. Sometimes you'll find you might need to take a, a small screwdriver or something to push this purple clip back so that you, it'll allow you to release it. But be careful, you do not want to break those. And then each one of these solenoids is retained by an 8 millimeter bolt that holds it down in there. And all you're going to do, get your 8 millimeter, run your bolt out carefully, not strip it. You don't want to lose it down in your engine compartment. Once you got that out, give it a little wiggle and a tug. And it'll come out like so. You want to be careful because it's going to be oil. You don't want to get anything down in that hole. Just rag here. Good way to spread oil all over your engine compartment. So be careful. Especially if your engine's hot. And then all you're going to do is take your new solenoid and carefully ease it back down in there. Just like so. Why not trying to line it up? You know, it may be a little tougher putting it in on your vehicle than it is mine. But nevertheless, you want to try to get that main section seated down in there. Get your bolt started. And the main section you need to get seated, if you look, there's an O-ring. You want to make sure that's seated down in there so that if it's not pressed all the way in, 
when you get ready to run your bolt down in it, it will go ahead and seat the solenoid back down into the head. Just like so. Like I said, don't over tighten that. Just don't want to snap the bolt off, don't want to strip anything. It's like so. And that's how you uh, remove and install the solenoid. And then you'll repeat the same thing over here on the exhaust side by removing that bolt. Popping the solenoid out, popping the new one in. And then put your retaining clip back on. Just like so. So it's like that on both sides of the engine. It's pretty easy and simple uh, fix. How much did you pay for these solenoids? I actually ordered these solenoids. They're Dorman brand. I got them for 23 bucks a piece. Uh, luckily, there's not a difference between intake and exhaust. And, uh, you know, like I said, it's relatively simple to do. However, if you are running a 3.5 liter EcoBoost, your solenoid has a plug that's exposed to an O-ring in the valve cover. You'll have to remove the valve covers to actually do the solenoids on the 3.5 liter EcoBoost. All right, guys, that's how you do it. Check out Braden on his EcoBeast channel. I've got the link down below in the video description. Also, I have links to the parts that he used to repair his truck. Just in case you're interested in trying this little fix to increase your gas mileage and possibly uh, resolve some of the problems you have with your F-150 with the 2.7. This is Daniel with Boss C351 Productions. I appreciate you watching my videos. Please click like and please do subscribe to my channel. Again, thank you for watching.